In this video, I will show you how to work the join front panel ends and join back neck section of the Brookdale vest. So the first step of the join front panel end section is to position the work so the right sides of each front panel are facing each other and the wrong side is facing you. So right now I have the garment with the front on top and the right side is facing me. So I'm gonna want to first uh, reposition this a little bit. First, I'm going to turn the work over so that right now the right side of the back is facing me. Then I'm gonna take each of the front panels and turn them inwards like this so that the wrong side of each of the fronts is facing me. So now the wrong side of the garment is facing me with the front on top of the back. Now, what we're gonna wanna do is then take these front panels and we're gonna wanna put those right sides together. So here are right sides and I'm just going to put them together like this. And then let's turn the work again. So it should look a little something like this. So step two then says to transfer the stitches held for the left front panel onto one of the US eight circulars. And then step three is to do the same, transfer the stitches held to the right front. So it doesn't really matter which one you're gonna start with here. But let's go ahead and start with this one on top. So just like we had done for the back shoulder stitches, I'm just going to transfer each of these stitches from the scrap yarn onto one of my US 8 needles. Okay, I've transferred all of those. And now I'm going to do the other side as well. Okay, so I've transferred all of all of the stitches from the other panel as well. So now both of our stitches are on the needle. So now we can kind of see which direction we need to be going in. Um, because if you look at step four, it says using the long tail from the left front panel, work the three needle bind off. So this is my left front panel and this is my tail. It's on this side. So what I want to do is pull my needle through to the other side. And same with on this side. Just like that. So we have our working yarn coming from our front panel like this, and we have our stitches all lined up and running parallel to each other. And um, I always like to do a double check if the wrong side is facing me. It can be a little tricky to tell with the stitch pattern. So you can always kind of look down and see, okay, I see the, the purl side of the fabric down here. So I know that the wrong side is facing me, which is what we want. So now I'm gonna go ahead and three needle bind off all of these stitches. Okay, so we've just worked our last stitch and now I'm gonna do the last bind off. Pull the loop through, all right. So then let me just pull this through and secure. And so now our front panels ends have been attached. I'm just going to flip the right side of the work so you can see. So it should look like that. So now we're ready to move on to the join back neck section. So the first step of that is to position the work so the right side of the back is facing you and the front panels are above. So just like we have right here. So here are front panels up here 
And then here is our back neck. And this is the, I'll move this up just so you can see, this is the right side of the back neck. So you should be positioned just like this. Then the next step says to use one of the US 8 circs and pick up two stitches to the right of the back neck stitches. Um, and just a clarifying note, we're just picking up, picking them up. We're not picking up and knitting. So here are our back neck stitches. So two stitches to the right. So it's just picking up in this gap area right here. So what I'm gonna do, I don't wanna pick up into the very edge necessarily because then there could be a little bit of a hole. So I'm actually gonna just go kind of right underneath there. So I'm gonna go and let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that stitch right there. And then I'm gonna pick up that stitch right there. So whatever is gonna look at it, when you kind of lift it up, make sure there aren't any major holes and I don't see any, so I'm happy with that. Then step three says to transfer the stitches held for the back neck onto the circ as well. So let me just untie my scrap yarn here. So all we're gonna do is then just transfer all of these stitches from the scrap yarn onto this circular. So just like the same technique we had done when we were transferring stitches before. Okay, I've transferred all my stitches. Now I'm just pulling the scrap yarn out. And then step four says to pick up two stitches to the left of the back neck. So just like we had done on the other side. And when you're picking up these stitches, I like to go from top to bottom and that way they're in the same orientation as the stitches on the needles. Not a big deal if you don't do it that way, but just thought I would point that out. So like that. And the next one, and again, it's just sort of looking, okay, which one do I think will be good to pick up that won't cause a big hole down here? There we go. Yep, and that looks good. Okay, so all of our back neck stitches are now picked up. So step five says to turn the work so that the front panels are on top of the back with the right side facing. So I'm just going to turn this so right side of the front facing, here's the back, here are the stitches that we just put on the needle. So now step six says with the other US 8 circ and beginning where the left front panel meets the shoulder, so that is over here, um, we're going to pick up and knit 23 stitches along this left front panel edge to where the um, center panel ends meet. So right here. So between here and here, we want to pick up 23 stitches. Now this works out to approximately two stitches for every three rows. It's not exact. What I recommend is you start at a ratio of two for every three and then count where you're at like the halfway mark and see if you need to pick up at a slightly different ratio just for the, for the end stitches there. So first I'm going to start where the shoulder meets here. So I'm going to insert my needle right here and then I'm going to take my working yarn okay so I'm going to take my working yarn I like to leave a nice long tail because even after we attach these two ends together there's going to be a little bit of a hole there but if you leave a nice long tail here we can cinch up that hole so I'm going to drape it over my needle and pull it through there we go, so we've picked up and knit one stitch. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the next. Okay, now we're going to skip one. So I'm gonna skip this one and then go into here. And as you can see, I'm going into not the very edge stitch, I'm going in to the, it looks like a V formation, kind of one stitch in. And so then I'll skip one, go into this one.
I feel like I'm about a little over half. And let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So that seems about right. Sometimes at this point, what I'll do is I say, okay, I have 14. I know I need to have 23. Let me just count doing again at that ratio of two for every three and see if I continue at that rate, will I have 23? So this was 14. If I skip the next and go into this one, so that's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And it looks like I might just have a little bit more room left. So I might do a, I'm gonna go into this one and then skip one more and then go into this one. So you just sort of play around to make sure that you get that right number of stitches. So for like three stitches, I'm gonna do every other stitch and then I'll go back to my two for every three. Okay, I'm close, so let me just do another count. One twenty-two. I just have one more to pick up, and that's good because I'm just about at the center area. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up right there. Okay, so now we have 23 stitches on this side. So then step seven is to do the same thing along the other panel. We wanna pick up and knit 23 stitches in the same manner along this right front panel edge to the shoulder. And I make a note that it might be helpful to place a removable marker right here, which I'm going to do. We'll remove once we're done picking up these stitches, but it's helpful to do it, place it here, so that way when we're counting, we just count from the marker because we want those 23 stitches again. Okay, so I picked up my 23 stitches along this side of the panel as well. So now I can go ahead and remove that marker. And so then just at the end of step seven, it says that there should be 46 stitches on the circular. So it's always a good idea to do a count just to make sure you have the exact number of stitches that you should. So step eight says to position the work so that the right sides are together and the wrong side is facing you with the fronts on top of the back. So we want it, this is kind of the trickiest part so you have a lot going on here, but we want the right sides to face each other. So sometimes the easiest way, I like to first kind of move all my stitches to the inside part of the cable. So here are my needle tips, just to get them away from the ends here. Now I think the, there's lots of ways to do this, but one of the ways is to just take the front panel and kind of flip it up. And then to get your needle tips kind of through the hole. And we're gonna want the fronts on top of the back. So first, okay, so we flipped everything. So now the right sides are facing each other, which is good, but now, we wanna move everything, but before you do that, make sure, because right here, it's hard to show you, but see how my working yarn is sort of, because when we flipped it over, it's now coming through the armholes. So before you move anything else, make sure that your working yarn is not gonna get caught anywhere. There we go. So now I'm going to turn it so that my, Front is on top of the back now with the right sides together, wrong side facing me. So then you wanna make sure that you're working yarn. So it looks like it's still got a little tangles under this armhole. This is always probably the trickiest part of all this is just getting everything untangled. Okay, so let's get our working yarn out from there. There we go. So this is just 
um, a loose end. So I'm going to stick that inside there so it's not in the way. Okay, so we have our front panel on top of the back, right side facing us, right uh, wrong side facing us, right sides together. And our working yarn is coming from right here. So then what we want to do is we're going to just slide our needle tips in this direction. So towards the working yarn. And then we're going to be ready to work on step nine, which is working the three needle bind off along all of these stitches. Just about to bind off my last stitch here. I'm going to cut the yarn and then pull it through and secure. So now our panels have been attached to the back neck. We're going to flip all of this around so you can see. So here are our front panels. Here's our back neck. Let me flip this. But as you can see now, everything has been put together. Now I want to point out a couple of things. So when I turn this over, it is completely normal to see a little bit of a hole here and a hole on this side. Don't worry, that's to be expected. That's why we have our nice long tails. And so those can be on the wrong side of the work. What you'll do is, and I can show you that right now, weave my ends through my tapestry needle. And then to cinch this up, what I usually like to do is kind of hold it this way so you have the hole facing you. And I like to trace around it. So I'm gonna go down here into this loop, pull that through, and then I'm gonna go onto this side and pull that through. So as you can see, that already sort of tightened it up. And it's okay if that loose stitch sort of just stays on the wrong side of your fabric like that. And then let's see, I'll go up into here. And then I'll go back down from where I had started. As you can see, that tightened everything up and now you don't see the hole at all on the right side of the work. So then you could just do the same on the other side. So that is how you join the front panel ends and then join the back neck in my Brookdale vest. <laughs> <laughs>